Hi, so this is a follow-up video for the official Android 8 Oreo on the Sony Xperia XZ Premium video that I uploaded two days ago. Now, in case you have the dual SIM variant of the XZ Premium, which is the G8142, this phone, unfortunately, this update will break the RGB CIR and the TUF sensor. Now this problem only affects the dual SIM variant of the XZ Premium so in case you have the single SIM variant you are fine. And this problem was brought to my notice by one of my viewers so I have his uh, comment open right here. So this guy commented Xperia XZ Premium dual SIM with Oreo problem with RGB CIR sensor and the TUF sensor not reading laser autofocus. So this is actually a problem I did check out the forum. So this is a problem and Sony will fix this problem in their uh, next update which will happen in November 2017. So actually you can go ahead and see their comment from their support staff. So hi everyone, we, you may have noticed that the camera on your XZ Premium Dual SIM does not behave according to the specifications after the update to Android 8. This is due to software configuration related to the RGB, C, IR and TUF sensor used by the camera. Uh, when the sensor don't work correctly, pictures taken in the specific lighting color conditions will be affected and results include slower autofocus and effect on color retention. Now he has already said that this has been solved in an updated software version which is scheduled for release in November 2017. So a fix for this update is already on the way. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to test the RGBC IR and the TUF sensors whether they are working on your Sony Xperia XZ Premium or not and this method also works on the Sony Xperia XZ because uh, this phone also features a laser autofocus system and the RGB uh, color sensing system. So to check whether the sensors are working or not you need to go to Sony's service menu. Now you need to copy and paste this code on the phone's dialer so I'm gonna press copy, go home, open phone and paste it over here and then you'll see the service menu. Go to service tests and scroll all the way down to TOF sensor and RGB CIR sensor. Now you can see this phone shows value 1. So if I cover it up, you can see it minus 1 for all the values. And if your sensor is working, it should show uh, proper values like it does on the Xperia XZ. Just like that. And the TOF sensor should also be working on the XZ and it should be non-functional on the XZ Premium. You can see the value is minus one. Meanwhile, the value is changing on the Sony Xperia XZ. You might be able to tell. So if I cover up the sensor at the back, the value changes to almost zero. Release my hand, value, value goes up, but it is not working on the XZ Premium. Okay, so here's something interesting. When you run the TUF sensor test, if you flip the phone back, you'll see this uh, dim uh, laser shine through this uh, opening over here. And this is the TUF sensor. And only a camera can see this. You won't see this with a naked eye. And if I show you the same on the XZ Premium, it will not be working. So you see, there is nothing over there. You can see the TUF test is running, but I can't really see anything on the sensor. So yeah, the sensors are definitely non-functional. Meanwhile, it's working on the Xperia XZ. And if you point another camera towards the laser autofocus system, and you can actually see the laser autofocus system in action on these phones, and you won't see it on the XZ Premium because the laser autofocus is not working because of the Oreo update, but let me show you. Let's launch camera on both of these phones and I'm gonna point the camera over here and if I half depress the shutter button you'll see a laser shine through. There you go. So whenever I depress the shutter button the laser fires through the uh, uh, laser diode and the light goes back to the uh, sensor and the phone and this is how the phone is able to sense the depth of field. So this is working on the Xperia XZ but it will not be working on the Sony XZ Premium because the Oreo update broke the sensor. Ok 
Okay, so we are looking almost straight into the laser autofocus system and whenever I have to press the shutter button, nothing happens. So unfortunately for us dual SIM variant XZ Premium owners, the RGB sensor and the laser autofocus system is broken because of this uh, bug in the Oreo update. But don't worry guys, the update is coming uh, right next month in November 2017. So today is 31st October, so next month, anytime next month. Uh, Sony will release an update and fix the problem on the uh, uh, camera of the XZ Premium. Okay, so except for this RGBC, IR and TUF sensor bug, other than that, everything is working fine. I have done extensive testing in the past two days. I've tested Bluetooth, Wi-Fi performance, cellular performance, speaker performance, the audio jack, the fingerprint reader and other aspects of the camera everything is working fine and the phone is actually giving the more or less the same battery backup that we got in android nougat so i charged it in the evening i charged it eight hours 40 minutes ago and with heavy use and three hours 31 minutes on the screen on time i am on i am right now at 71 percent battery level so yeah pretty good battery backup the phone is snappy there there are absolutely no lags and i also tested multitasking uh, you're still not able to use the full potential of 4 gigabytes of RAM. The applications in the background automatically quit. So I think that is already built into Android to conserve battery power because apps running in the background will automatically drain your battery. So other than that, the update is good. And I hope Sony issues a fix for the RGB, RGBC, IR and the TUF sensor soon. It's coming next month. And actually, I do feel that the adaptive brightness is a bit aggressive on this phone. So I eventually I disabled it. And after brightness is so aggressive, like even if you tilt the phone towards um, light and darkness, the screen will change the brightness almost instantly. And that's too aggressive. I don't want the screen to turn uh, turn dark instantly and turn up the brightness almost uh, whenever I'm tilting the phone. So. Alright, so I hope this video gives you some insight on what's going on and when the update is going to hit the XZ Premium and fix the problem with the sensors. So thanks for watching this video and do check out the links in the video description. I have links to the Xperia support forum and the XDA developers website. You can go ahead and check out those links. And so thank you guys for watching and do stay tuned for more videos like these and I'll see you guys next time.